in the prepto way guys the first thing that you can notice is that as x increases y is decreasing so this is a negative slope function right so when we look at y is equal to mx plus c this is negative because as x increases y decreases so out of these four options we are only looking at c or d and when x is 0 y is equal to 18 so we are looking at option d Hello Preptas, welcome back to another walkthrough of the SAT Digital Test 1 released by College Board. This is module 2 of the math section. This is the easy module. So if you have not done that well in module 1, then this is the module that you will get. So let's start off. The first question is, what is the median of the data shown? Now median is always the middle value. So if you have odd number of terms, then it's straight away the middle value which you can find out, let's say if you have 11 terms, then it's 11 plus 1 by 2, which is the sixth term. And uh, if there are even number of terms, then it's the average of the two middle values, which means let's say if you have 10 terms, then it's the average of the fifth and the sixth value. Okay, so let's see how many terms we have. You have to get them in ascending order, which this data already is in, right? So you have 3, 3 and 9. So our middle term is a single value, 77 and that is the median. Second question, what value of x is the solution to the given equation? So if x plus 40 is 95, x is going to be 95 minus 40, which is 55. So as you can see, the questions are fairly reasonable. Third question, what is the area of a rectangle? Length is 17 and width is 7. So the area of a rectangle is basically length into width. So in our case, it's going to be 17 into 7 which is 119 centimeter. You can multiply it yourself or you can use the Desmos calculator. So answer is option C. Fourth question, which expression is equivalent to this value? So you have 20W. This will combine to get 7W, so minus 7W, which is 13W. So our answer is option B. Fifth question, the number Y is 84 less than the number x. So y is not equal to x, but it is 84. So you have to reduce 84 from x to get y. And hence, our answer is option D. y is equal to x minus 84. Another way you could do this is you could also work with numbers. And you can say that if x is 84, y is 84 less than x. So then y would be 0. And you can check where you get y is equal to 0 when x is equal to 84. That only happens with option D. Sixth question, this expression is equivalent to this expression, right? So in some sense, 24 over 6x plus 42 is equal to 4 over x plus b. So what have we done? We have taken the numerator and divided it by 6 to get 4. We now have to similarly take the denominator and divide that by 6 and see then what is the value of b. So if you divide the denominator 6x plus 42 by 6, you get x plus 7. Comparing it with x plus b, we get that b has to be equal to 7 and hence we are looking at option A. Seventh question, out of 300 seeds that were planted, 80% sprouted. So 80% guys, as a fraction, if you write down, it's 80 by 100, right, which is equal to 4 by 5. So if 4 by 5 of 300 seeds were sprouted, that means we are looking at 240 seeds were sprouted, right? So again, you could use a calculator or you can do this calculation. Question 8. Tai set a goal to walk at least 24 kilometers every day to prepare for a multi-day hike. On a certain day, he plans to walk at an average speed of 4 km per hour. What is the minimum number of hours time must walk on that day to fulfill the daily goal? So if he has to walk 24 and per hour he is managing 4 on an average, that means he needs to walk 6 hours at least to finish his goal, right? 24 divided by 4, answer is option B, which is 6. Ninth question. If 6x plus 9, uh, sorry, 6 plus x is 9, what is this value? Usually there's always a connection with uh, at least one of the sides. So here your left hand side and 18 plus 3x, they are connected, right? This multiplied by 3 gives us 18 plus 3x, right? 
If I take 6 plus x, multiply it with 3, I get 18 plus 3x and hence, I need to similarly multiply the right hand side by 3 to get 27. So our answer is 27, right? Tenth question. The function f is defined as x cube plus 9. What is the value of f of 2? So I just replace x with 2 and I get 2 cube plus 9 which is 8 plus 9 and that is 17 option c. Eleventh question is a function question. Total cost f of x to lease a car for 36 months from a particular car dealership is given by 36 right into this must be monthly payments and this must be a down payment of 1000 right so they have given where x is the monthly payment in dollars so 36 months with the monthly payment plus 1000 what is the total cost to lease a car when the monthly payment is 400 so basically we just need to substitute x is equal to 400 because that's the monthly payment in the equation. So our answer is 36 into 400 plus 1000. This is nothing but 14,400 plus 1000 which is 15,400. So answer is option C. Twelfth question. The function g is defined as g of x is 10x plus 8. And again this is very similar to the earlier question, right? x cubed plus 9. So, we just need to substitute what x is. x is 8. So, we substitute 8 here and we get 10 into 8 plus 8 and hence our answer is 88 option D. Thirteenth question. Here you have two parallel lines. You need to find the value of x. Frankly, we don't even need line L, right? Just this much is enough. You have x and 133 adjacent in a linear line right so the two of them should add up to give you 180 degrees hence x has to be 180 minus 133 which is 47 degrees right so you'll input 47 as the answer for question 13 14 so 14 is the first slightly difficult question that you have graph of 7x plus 2y is minus 31 in the xy plane and x has an intercept at a comma 0 and a y intercept at 0 comma b and you have to find p by a so first thing is we'll find the value of a since the x intercept is a comma 0 let's substitute a here for x and 0 for y so we get 7a is equal to minus 31 and a is minus 31 by 7 right now, similarly, we'll substitute the y-intercept. So, we'll substitute x as 0 and y as b to get 0 plus 2b is equal to minus 31 and hence b is equal to minus 31 by 2. Now, to find b by a, we will do minus 31 by 2 divided by minus 31 by 7 which is nothing but minus 31 by 2 into 7 by minus 31 right so this is inverted because it's in the denominator minus 31 cancels off and we are left with 7 by 2 so our answer is option d 15th question an object travels at a constant speed of 12 centimeters per second right so it's doing 12 centimeters for every second at this speed what is the time that it would take for the object to travel totally 108 centimeters so that would be 108 divided by 12, which is 9, right? So answer is 9 seconds. Option A. 16th question. John paid a total of 165. How did he pay 165 dollars? By first making a down payment of 37 dollars. So the first thing he did is he paid a down payment of 37 dollars and then monthly payments of 16 dollars for P months. So each month he is paying $16. So in P months he will pay 16P and together this makes up the 165 that he has paid. So if I compare this with all the options we can clearly see that the answer is option C. Moving on to the next question. The 17th question you have values of X and corresponding values of Y. They have clearly mentioned that there is a linear relationship between x and y which means y can be written as coefficient into x 
plus a constant right you have to find out which of these is of the form ax plus b for these values so in the ordinary way we'll just substitute values right so let's say if we substitute x is equal to 0 we get y as 18 is equal to a into 0 plus b and hence we get that b is equal to 18 right and then if we substitute 1 we can start by saying 13 is equal to a into 1 plus 18 in which case a is equal to 18 minus sorry 13 minus 18 which is minus 5 right and once we have a as minus 5 and b as 18 we can look at options and our answer is going to be option d right in the prepto way guys the first thing that you can notice is that as x increases y is decreasing so this is a negative slope function right so when we look at y is equal to mx plus c this is negative because as x increases y decreases so out of these four options we are only looking at c or d and when x is 0 y is equal to 18 so we are looking at option d in fact you can see that 18 is actually the y intercept i'm just connecting this algebra problem with coordinate geometry right 18 is actually the y intercept so your c has to be 18 so in the prepto way right without making any equation writing anything down you get that the answer is option d an object is kicked from a platform h is minus 4.9 into t square plus 70 plus 9 what is h? h is the height of the object above the ground. So how much is it above the ground? t seconds after it is kicked. So t here in this equation is the number of seconds after kicking, right? Uh, it's not a very difficult question, but the quadratic part may make it look more difficult. Our question is which number represents the height from which the object was kicked? So if the object is just going to be kicked, right, what is the time? The time is zero because the object has not yet been kicked it's going to be kicked so if I substitute time as 0 I will get the height that the object is in meters so time as 0 gives us that h is equal to 9 so the object is 9 meters above the ground right option D 19th question which table gives three values of x and the corresponding values of h of x for the given function so this function is given x square minus 3 we just need to substitute x we can see right and all the options we are basically looking at x as 1 2 3 so let's start by putting x as 1 so we get h of x is equal to 1 square minus 3 which is minus 2 so we can eliminate options a and c because for x equal to 1 h of x should be minus 2 right now if you notice both of the options have the same answer so we'll not substitute 2 we'll substitute 3 right so when x is 3 h of x is going to be 3 square minus 3 which is going to be 6 and hence our answer is option b right 20th question in the linear function f f of 0 is 8 and f of 1 is 12 which equation defines f so again it's a substitution question it's a linear function which means i can write f of x as ax plus b when i substitute x as 0 right f of 0 which is 8 is equal to a into 0 plus b so we straight away get that b is equal to 8 right and we can eliminate options b and c because b is equal to 8 then if i substitute 1 as 12 so f of 1 is equal to 12 is equal to a into 1 plus 8 i get a as 4 and hence our answer is option d right so this is the ordinary way prepped away again we know that f of 0 is 8, f of 1 is 12, right? So f of 0, 8 means that the constant is 8. So we are looking at A or D. And if I move by 1 and the value increases by 4, that means the coefficient has to be 4. With every increase, right, if this is increasing by 4, then in AX, right, the coefficient has to be 4. We don't need equations to do this. We can simply see this, right? So answer is going to be option D great moving on to the 21st question the given equation relates the numbers j k and m which equation correctly expresses k in terms of j and m so in the ordinary way we'll actually write down and express it so we say that if 14 j plus 5 k is m that means now i want k in terms of j and m so k will be on one side m minus 14 j right in which case k is equal to 
एम माइनस फोर्टीन जे डिवाइडेड द होल डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव सो दैट इज ऑप्शन ए इन द प्रेप्टो वे एज यूजल वी जस्ट सब्सिट्यूट सिफ आई पुट एम इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड जे इज इक्वल टू वन देन आई गेट फाइव के इज इक्वल टू जीरो माइनस फोर्टीन एंड के इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर्टीन बाई फाइव सो इफ आई पुट दैट राइट एंड पुटिंग जीरो इज हेल्पफुल बिकॉज यू कैन एलिमिनेट आंसर्स सो यू कैन सी राइट दैट इफ एम इज जीरो के इन दिस केस इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर्टीन सो दिस इज इन करेक्ट राइट इफ एम इज जीरो यर यू गेट अ पॉजिटिव वैल्यू सो सी इज इन करेक्ट आई वॉन्ट के टू बी नेगेटिव राइट यर इज द ओनली प्लेस वेर आई पुट इफ आई पुट एम इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड जे इज इक्वल टू वन डू आई गेट माइनस फोर्टीन बाई फाइव राइट सो आर आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए बाई सब्सटीट्यूशन द साइड लेंस ऑफ राइट ट्राइंगल आर एस टी आर गिवन एंड ट्राइंगल आर एस टी सिमिलर टू अनदर ट्राइंगल यू वी डब्ल्यू सो यू हैव द साइड लेंस एंड यू हैव सिमिलैरिटी राइट यू हैव अ क्लियर कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंस ऑल्सो गिवन दैट एस कॉरेस्पॉन्स टू वी टी कॉरेस्पॉन्स टू डब्ल्यू एंड सो ऑन you have to find tan of w right and how will we find it by using segments of the triangle rst so let's just quickly label the largest side is always going to be your hypotenuse so 584 is going to be your hypotenuse which means let's say if this is t r and hence this is going to be s then i can put in that st is going to be 384 and sr is going to be 440 now the correspondence is that t corresponds to w so if i have to find tan w tan is nothing but the ratio of the opposite side over adjacent side right so if the angles are of similar triangles are going to be equal hence tan of w is going to be the same as tan of t correct if two triangles are similar the angles are equal so what is tan of t tan of t again using opposite over adjacent is going to be 440 divided by 384 right so if you see we want 8 za right 8 into 55 and this is going to be the denominator is going to be 8 into 48 so answer is going to be 55 by 48 which is option d right Great guys I hope you enjoyed the walk through we'll be coming out with more walk throughs in the future and some free essays also take care best of luck bye bye hey preptors if you like this video please subscribe to our channels on all these social media apps youtube twitter linkedin facebook etc